Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. How long will these cheap, budget-friendly Coleman campers last? Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back here at the storage. It is a beautiful, warm, sunny February day, which is rare because it should be about six degrees and I should be farting snowflakes. Anyway, I got a list of things that I wanted to get done to the camper, and I figured today would be a beautiful day to show you how our now five-year-old Coleman 17B is holding up and if we've had any major issues or not. We get all sorts of comments all the time about how campers nowadays are just made like junk and all the problems that they have. And I think this camper, being the cheapest on the market, certainly gets a bit of a bad rap. Of course, we've seen stories or heard of people having issues uh, with plumbing or leaks or something like that right from the factory. Or maybe even stories of poor craftsmanship. Or, heck, maybe it was built on a Monday. But the fact is, all RVs are mass-produced, I think, to the tune of 600,000-ish a year. So, yes, there are going to be some issues. And I realize I'm saying all this to you while I'm fixing my door. But honestly, are all those issues from being cheaply built? Or how much of those are user error, like leaving this door open on a windy day and having that rip out? Or maybe even neglect, like not maintaining your roof seals the way you're supposed to. Now, I realize every RV is different, and I can only speak for our Coleman here, but the thing's been absolutely great. I am pretty religious on following maintenance schedules and keeping up on everything to make sure that it stays in good condition, and I think that that makes a huge difference. So another thing we got to consider, guys, is how much we're actually using our campers. I mean, yes, I had a put the shelf back up that keeps falling. There was a screw that popped out of the microwave. Is that poor craftsmanship? Probably. Or is it the fact that we've driven this camper for thousands and thousands of miles? Uh, you got to consider every time you're going over a bump or railroad tracks or hit some sort of groove in the hole in the road, these things are twisting, turning. You're, you're carrying a house down the road, guys. So the more you're going to use it, probably the more issues you're going to find like the little things that we fixed today. On the flip side of that, I guess the argument could be made if you don't use your camper and it's sitting around, well then you got all sorts of issues with that too. So we take ours out almost every single weekend somewhere, someplace. That's with zero plumbing issues, no issues in the bathroom. We haven't had any sort of leaks as far as the roof goes or seals around the outside of it. The air conditioner is working great. The stereo is still working great. The fridge, the microwave, the stove, everything inside of it works fine. The fireplace is still working. So all in all, we really can't complain. Uh, for the price you're paying, these are great little starter campers, especially if you're willing to put the work in and maintain it properly. And honestly, if all we're dealing with is a couple little screws coming loose, I think we're in pretty good shape. 